it's your girl Chris Kanik and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a reaction video, my first actual ever reaction video to Machine Gun Kelly. He has just released Bloody Valentine. I've never heard this song and or watched the video. The video just came out. I don't know if the song has been out prior to prior to today but um yeah of course i fully know who machine gun kelly is but to be honest i really can't say i've like sat and listened to any of his music for real like i've never sat and listened to a project by machine gun kelly so this is gonna be my first time really really listening to him like tuning into everything that he's saying and stuff like that so you guys are gonna get my first and honest reaction before I go any further, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all already know what to do. Come join the gang. Hello. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to do too much talking. Let's get right into this video. The most that I know about Machine Gun Kelly is that him and Eminem was beefing and they don't get along. But outside of that, I really couldn't tell. And I didn't even listen to the um, the records when they were beefing. Like, I swear, I didn't listen to any of the diss records. So, I'm really going to be, like, tuned into his lyrics. Because I heard it was I heard it was good. I heard he had some good shit. I haven't heard nothing bad about him. I really heard good things. So, I'm excited to see what he's coming with. Oh, I know her. What, what movie did she play? She played in a really popular movie. The girl who's the star lady. Who is that? What movie does she play in? Like, I know it. Like, I've seen that movie thousands of times. Okay, so I know she played in Transformers, but I'm not talking about... She did play in Transformers. She was the main girl in Transformers. And then it was something else. She played in Mad Stuff, but she's a good actress. Okay, let's see what this is talking about. First and foremost, let's connect to the speaker. Because what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, bet we lit. Well, guys love crazy women. Like, why he saying this toxic girl who has him tied up right now is the best he ever had? That sounds crazy, bro. Like, what? Kelly like rock side I didn't know that he made music like this I really thought he was just a rapper but this is definitely rock like nobody's telling me this isn't rock fit and the makeup is beat like a1 to the makeup artist and the stylist who put that outfit together because that is a cute ass outfit of this video is actually pretty fire like even his blazer that has the the um zebra print that's cute with the pink tape and then hers like there her jacket in this scene is cute like very very cute aesthetics
Angela Yee on her rumor report talking about her ex-husband talking about her and Machine Gun Kelly getting together. So they actually date in real life. I just thought of that. Like they really actually date. <laughs> Garcia, fire. MGK signs a bad boy? An interscope? Dope. You learn something new every day. Don't let nobody tell you you don't. You learn something new every single day. I would have never thought Machine Gun Kelly was making music like this. Like, did he does he have more rock songs that I don't know about? I really thought he was just a rapper. So comment below and tell me other songs that MGK has that's like more on the rock side of things. Cause I really didn't know that that's what he does too. I really thought it was just hip hop. But the song isn't a bad song. It's not my type of song, but it's not a bad song. And this is crazy because I swear to you, like, if you, I don't know if y'all watch The Breakfast Club, like, I watch The Breakfast Club, I watch The Breakfast Club OD. So, Angela Yee, this week, this week, was just talking about how, what is her name? I don't even know her, like, real name, but that actress was talking about how her ex-husband gave a statement to the press and was saying how they've been, like, finding themselves distancing for over a year. So it's not like he, she, he got left for MGK because they already were in a bad place, which I thought was extremely mature because at the end of the day, I don't care if we stop talking for a year, for a month, nigga, you're not about to move on that fast and be with somebody else completely in a whole relationship to the point where you're quarantined with somebody else and me and the kids at home, nah. No, 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 no. That's not okay for me. But he's way more mature than me. You feel me? I'm growing. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I literally just remember hearing this story. And then to watch this video, I didn't even, one, I didn't even, like, it didn't even click in my head until mid-video that they're actually together. And two, the fact that this song came out 
talking about bloody valentine during all of this media mess because if it wasn't for the media i would have never known if it wasn't for the breakfast club i would have never known about any of her personal life outside of i would have never even known that they were together this video isn't like super lovey-dovey that you're like oh clearly they're together like no it's not like that but they actually make a pretty cute couple they really do i think she's actually older than him too so that's interesting as well but I like the energy of the video. I love the aesthetic of the video. All of all of the scenes were extremely clear. The fits were nice. Like I really liked her all black fit. I loved that. And MGK's outfits were nice too with the zebra blazer with the pink tape. How they just did everything like every detail mattered. Like every detail mattered to the point where when she dropped the the blow dryer in the water and he was shaking and it was like that pink electricity like every single detail just hits and I really did I really do appreciate that like I really do so I would get this video just for like the aesthetic of the vid video the visual of the video I would give it um a nine I would fuck that I'm gonna give it a ten no I'll give it a nine I'll give it a nine and then the actual song I guess the song is good, but it's just not my type of song. So, for me, I gotta give the song like a 7.5. Just because I'm not, I'm not gonna go back and listen to this song. But the song isn't made for somebody like me. Because I'm a hip-hop and R&B girl. But it's interesting to know that MGK does music like this. Because I really didn't know. When I tell y'all I do not listen to MGK, I really don't. And I'm not saying that in a negative way at all. I just don't. But... This is my first time really listening to him, and it's interesting to see how he come in. So, yeah. That's my opinion on the song. Comment below and tell me y'all opinion on the song. Also, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all already know what to do. Come join the gang. It's your girl, Chrissy Kitty.